Hi, and welcome to the Pod Cafe. I'm Nick Potts. And I'm Emily Potts. And we drink coffee and talk about the podcast we're listening to. What kind of coffee are you drinking today? Uh, well, here's what I did. I have been awake for a very long time. I'm How long? rounding out about 30 hours right now. I can't be good for you. Um, it's definitely not. And normally, I, when I drink my coffee, I'm, I pretty much just drink it black. It's either like espresso or just plain black coffee. But when you're really tired, your body craves carbohydrates and sugars and stuff. And so I decided to cave to that. So I'm drinking a cinnamon roll frappuccino from Starbucks. And it is every bit as delicious as it sounds. That sounds and delicious. I need somebody to clear this up for me once and for all. Do frappuccinos actually have caffeine in them or are they basically just milkshakes? I think some of them do, but not all of them. Like the vanilla bean one and the strawberries and cream one do not. But I think the other so what, ones might. This seems dumb. But Why I actually have another question for you. To go back sure. to your previous comment that when you're tired, your body craves carbohydrates and sugars. So are you telling me that I'm either always tired or th- is there something wrong with me that I just always crave carbs and sugar? Could be. How much sleep do you get a night? I get a lot of sleep. Pretty good at sleeping. <laughs> is it mm, between seven and a half and nine hours? Um... Yeah, I would say seven to eight hours. So, yeah, sure. Anything under seven starts to have... No, no, no. Let me take that back. Anything under seven and a half starts to have negative effects on your body. So, if I sleep more, I'll eat less carbs. Is that what you're telling me? Well, also, if you eat less carbs, you'll crave less, less carbs. That sounds so hard. I'm going to just keep <laughs> eating the carbs. <laughs> Yeah, some carbs are just too good. Not so much the breads, but I love pies and donuts. I'm a pastry kind of carb eater. I like pastries. Pastries go good with coffee, too. Speaking of coffee, what kind of coffee are you drinking? Let me tell you about what I'm drinking. So, I'm back to my corner of the street coffee shop, Dunn Brothers. It's quick. It's convenient. It's right down the street. Back because you were gone for a while. Well, back because I don't go very often. But I think I've oh. I think I've been drinking a coffee there on a previous podcast. So I'm back there again. However, today I'm drinking something that it's kind of a treat yourself moment, you know. So yep. they have these drinks that are called Nirvanas. Which I think just makes it sound fancy when I'm just adding sugar and fat to an iced coffee. So Yeah, yeah, definitely. It just makes it sound a little bit better, like you're hitting enlightenment. Yeah, so I'm drinking a vanilla iced Nirvana, which is just cold-pressed coffee with vanilla syrup and half and half. It's delicious. So it's just a vanilla coffee. It's a vanilla iced Nirvana. Don't ruin this for me. Sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so the podcast today um, that we listen to is called Schmanners, um, and it is done by Travis and... Teresa. Teresa. Nailed it. Travis and Teresa McElroy. You really Um, like that. Wait, is it McElroy or McElroy? McElroy. (laughs) It's McElroy. You really like the <laughs> McElroy family. Um, well, I do. I really like uh, my brother and my brother and me. And Travis is an, another brother on that podcast. But they also do just like a bunch of different podcasts. So they have a pretty big corner on the market. Um, and they're all pretty different um, and interesting. So Maybe one day we'll be why. like them and just have so many podcasts with so many different members of our family that's the dream dream that's the dream that's the nirvana (laughs) so (laughs) that is podcast nirvana 
so schmanners is a etiquette and manners show um so they talk about proper etiquette in different situations or with items and they talk about the history of that etiquette and stuff like that and it's pretty interesting yeah i really so i'd never listened to this podcast before but um i liked it and i liked their whole thing about like you know they talk about a a relevant event that's going on and then what you should and shouldn't do and i like that they take questions from listeners like what do you think that I should do in this situation. Like, it's great. I like what they're doing. Yeah, it's a little um, my brother, my brother, and me esque. But yeah, they're very current. Um, this one specifically was titled "Graduation," uh, and it's perfect time for that because I think uh, colleges just had graduations, and I think high school is you know, coming up like next week or something pretty soon. Yeah, I um, think so. And this is funny because. We've been talking about graduation a lot at my office because obviously this is like prime hiring time for new analysts because a bunch of like college Mm. grads just graduated. So on like our work communication application, people keep sending pictures of their high school graduations, which is so funny because it's just, I mean... It's kind of a long time ago. It doesn't feel terribly long ago, but people just look so young. It doesn't feel that long ago at all. But it, it, my 10-year reunion, high school reunion, is next year. So It's going to make been, you feel old. Yeah, it's been about a decade since I've been in high school. Are you going to go to that? Um, so... This is what I've been mulling over because everybody keeps asking me that, whether or not I'm going to go. Someone putting it together asked me if I would go, and then um, my roommate asked me if I was going to go, and I can't decide. Would you go to yours? I don't think so. Why not? Um, I just, I I don't know. Like, I, I don't think I have close enough relationships with anyone in high school still to like want to be back there and i think i see enough on facebook and instagram i'm caught up yeah i think that's the issue is i I feel like social media is pretty much made reunions kind of irrelevant because Anyone you still talk to from high school, you're obviously caught up on. Yeah. And everybody else, you can scroll through the Insta and see what's going on. And so, like, there's no there's no longer that surprise factor that you see portrayed in movies and stuff. Like, you pretty much already know what everyone's doing. So it's I don't I don't know. It's a little pointless. It seems to me. Yeah. I think so, too. I just... Yeah, I, I really don't think it's needed as much anymore. I Yeah, I, I don't even know... I don't know, like, maybe the people who peaked in high school would want to go because they're going back to their glory days, or maybe, maybe the people who really didn't do well in high school socially and are now awesome would want to go. Yeah, maybe... I also think the people that would go are the people that care about those things. Like, I don't really care what anyone's doing. If they're... I'm going to be honest. My reunion would most likely end up being, like, a daycare (laughs) or at least a hour or two of just people talking about their kids. And I can't relate, so... Yeah, I, I can understand that. Or their weddings. I feel like everyone gets married so young. It's like, eh. Yeah. Yeah, or their weddings. Everybody from my class got pregnant and married pretty quick. Just and checking off the list, you know? Well, yeah, what's that about? So, graduation. Which one? And mine? I feel like I don't remember high school graduation, like the actual ceremony that much. It just happened so quickly. I do remember doing, like, 
senior pictures, getting ready for graduation, graduation parties. I remember those things all surrounding the event of graduation in terms of high school, but I don't remember the actual thing. The actual ceremony, you mean? Yeah. Was our graduation ceremony, it was at the United Center, right? Not the United Center. That's not the right one. The Sears Center. Sears Center. And they did all of the high schools in the whole district in the one day. So it moved very quickly. Which is kind of nice because who wants to sit there for very long? Yeah. Did you um? Did you throw your hat in the air at the end? I think so, but I don't think I threw it very high because like, I'm the type of person that is really particular about most things in life. So I want my hat back. I actually did the same thing in both college and high school. I threw it because I wanted to say I did, I threw it and was part of that tradition, but barely, barely above head level. Definitely didn't yeah. lose track of that. Yeah, I wanted that one right back. I thought it was interesting in the podcast how they talked about how the whole hat throwing tradition goes back to sometime in the navy when they got new hats so they were throwing their old hats to celebrate their new hats yeah i didn't know that was a thing that's that's kind of cool yeah it's really Um, cool i thought it was hilarious that they were bringing up actual cases of people getting injured from hat throwing (laughs) yeah i i was listening to that and they were like it's kind of dangerous (laughs) i was like why who is like chucking a hat with that much force I didn't, I don't feel like our hats were made of anything but like cardboard. I also, yeah, I think they were just like cardboard. I also didn't know that the top of the cap was called a mortar board. (laughs) No idea. Had no idea that had a name. Learned a new word. (laughs) Cap and tassel was as far as I thought it went. Yeah, me too. Yeah, the ceremonies, the ceremonies are kind of irrelevant. Well, some people don't even go to the ceremonies, right? Yeah, and I think... They talked a lot about that, too. Like, do you go to graduation and do you walk and whatnot? And my college graduation was held at um, the football stadium with everyone graduating during that spring there. And so we didn't even walk. They just, like, called the uh, colleges and had you stand up with your college and, like, wave. And so I feel like in those situations, when you know it's going to be short, it's real quick, in and out, listen to the speaker, then why wouldn't you go? But I can understand. You guys didn't actually walk across the stage? No, not for, not at Madison. Hmm. Too many people. It was great though. Did you feel cheated? No, not really. I mean, the ceremony was 45 minutes. It was snowing in May. It was great, and the ceremony was outside, so it was great. We went. You could stand in line to take a picture with the dean. I did that. Terrible picture. And then you just, yeah, stand up, wave with your college, move your tassel. Everybody's out of there. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense for Madison. but I mean, Madison's a much larger university than where I went at Loyola. <laughs> We all walked, and first of all, we don't have a we don't have a football field because we don't have a football team. Um, so we just walked in the Genteel Center. Yeah, it was okay. it was fine. I don't know. the The ceremonies are you know what you know what bothers me about the ceremonies is the two in the two graduations I've had the mo- thing I've been most excited about is the who's going to be the commencement speaker who's going to give the commencement speech and. Every time, it's been someone really uninteresting, and it sucks, because I love watching commencement speeches on YouTube, and I never got a good one for a graduation. I agree with that, because I feel like I got entirely ripped off in my commencement speaker, because, I mean, no offense, he's probably not listening, but (laughs) the slim chance... That this gets back to him. (laughs) I actually don't remember his name, but he was like an ex-governor of Utah. Means nothing to me. But. Yeah, why was he speaking at Madison? uh, Very unclear. 
I have no idea. Because, well, I guess he was... <laughs> he was, like, the ambassador to Russia at that time. Which, like, eh, seems less great now. But the commencement before us had, like, Katie Couric. Then after us had uh, Anders Holmes. You know him? He's a... Uh, producer and actor and workaholics. Oh. And he went to Madison. And then after that, they had Russell Wilson. And then after that, they had um, the producer of Modern Family. Like, Jeez. why did why <laughs> did my class get ex governor of Utah? <laughs> yeah, that's that sucks so bad. So angry. <laughs> Especially because Madison's a pretty high-profile university, so I don't know why they couldn't get anybody else. For that one semester. All the other ones, they did great. Yeah, that sucks. Mine was bad, too. It, it Maybe it wasn't bad, but for me, it was very unrelatable because, and I also don't remember who she was, but the lady who gave our commencement speech gave a speech about the empowerment of women and women of col- of color and i just can't relate to any of those yeah um <laughs> cultures the women or the women of color so i felt a little left out i'm going to be honest but can't you appreciate hearing something that you can't relate to you know learn a, a perspective that isn't your natural perspective yeah but like I don't like. I don't know. It just doesn't didn't apply to me anything she said. So like, it was great for anybody who could relate to it. But like, I just don't have a problem of seeing different perspectives in general. So I don't like need a commencement speech to like open my eyes to a different world. So uh, would you it's supposed to be like? motivating for everybody and i don't know it just wasn't motivating for me well that's fair so would you um consider yourself to be very woke as the millennials say um well (laughs) here's the thing when we say woke what does that mean because when i whenever i hear woke i hear it affiliated with flat earthers and stuff like that um so if that's what we're talking about then i am very not woke oh i maybe i don't know what how to use the term woke but i was thinking it was like you know up to speed staying relevant eyes open to everything around you woke yeah i i mean that sounds correct to me um I've just only heard it in, in terms of like conspiracy theories before, hmm. but um, sure, I'm woke. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> ceremonies were pretty chill with commencement speakers. We're not so wild about. Do you want to hear a funny story? Actually, you already know the story, but the listeners probably don't don't know the story. This is my one of my big secrets Ooh, in fun. life. Wait, I know it? Bi- Probably. Okay. One of my big secrets is that I lied my way into a bachelor's degree. Yeah, I think I did know that, actually. Yeah. So I technically never graduated from Loyola, but I do have a diploma, and it's all official. I did graduate. But what happened was I filled out my you know whatever it is you register to walk and to be a part of the ceremony and i was unaware that i was one class short of having the like required credit hours to graduate and so i walked and nobody said anything to me when i registered they approved my registration so i walked and then like months went by and i never got my diploma in the mail And so I contacted them and they're like, "Um, yeah, you're uh, three credit hours short. You need to finish. 
And I was not about to go back to do another semester of even one class. So uh, I was like, <laughs> um, maybe you guys, I don't know, I took AP tests in high school. Maybe you guys forgot to count those because those count towards college credits. Even though when I took those tests, I never scored high enough to have them count. And uh, they just emailed me back, and they're like, oh, yep, sorry, that was our mistake. And then they they mailed me my diploma, and I became a graduate. Who's working in that office where they just, like, really didn't catch that? I feel like that's a pretty easy thing to be like. Like, how many people try to do that and just be like, yeah, I, I graduated. I don't know what you guys are doing. Like, do they just let anyone that says that pass? Because then I'm concerned. My theory is that nobody tries it because nobody thinks they'd be able to get away with that. But also it was like the perfect set of circumstances because before anybody found out that I didn't have enough credits, I had already walked. Um, I was only one class short. And so I think it was just maybe not worth their time. (laughs) It was maybe just easier to give it to me. Um, I for sure wasn't going to pay money for another semester just for one class. Well, I mean, at that point you could have done something online or something, but, well, I guess I'm glad you have fake graduated. Congrats. I mean, yeah. Great job. Technically, technically a graduate. Just, uh, didn't have to do as much work as everybody else. So, another thing that they talked about in the podcast was, like, graduation parties. And how, this is the thing that I was confused about. But they were talking about, like, graduation gifts. And they were saying that some people register for graduation gifts. I've never heard that before. Me either. Like, don't people just either bring you something nice and sentimental or give you money? (laughs) I thought it was, yeah, mostly just money. I don't remember getting, like, an actual gift ever at graduation. Yeah, yeah. I am a little bit on board with the registry thing, and I kind of wish it was more normal for all occasions besides just, like, wedding and babies because, I mean, think about it. Graduate high school, you're probably, maybe, going to college. So then you need a lot of things. Why not register? Then you graduate from college, and you're, like, going to life things. You're probably moving. You need a lot of things. So why not have a registry for graduation? But then I also think, why can't I register when I'm, like, moving to a new apartment or something? Like, hey, new one bedroom, need some new throw pillows. Let me just register and see who will buy this for me. I want more registries in life. Okay, that's a slippery slope, because where do you draw the line then? What do you, what can you, can and can't you register for? I think we don't draw a line. Register for everything. And then... Doesn't money just cover everything, though? What do you mean? Well, yeah, but... Just giving money, and then you just buy whatever you need. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, for other life things, when you're moving to a new apartment, and nothing else has really changed in your life, no one's buying you gifts, but you need new things... Then you need to register. Let's see who you can get to buy you some things. What Don't you think people would be like, hey, I'm no, moving to a new apartment and get all this stuff and then maybe just not move to an apartment? Maybe, but I mean, the, it's success, I think. <laughs> For who? The apartment not mover? Yeah. Like, okay, they got some dumb family and friends that are buying things when they shouldn't be, but maybe they also have... Maybe that's, you know, they're actually moving. And then they have some really nice family and friends that are just contributing. It's all awesome. This is a little bit a thing already with GoFundMe. You can't buy gifts, but you could just create a GoFundMe page for anything and people can donate money. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, people do that a lot for things that really surprise me. For anything. There's GoFundMes for literally everything. So the graduation party, I mean... They talked about how it's like 50% for you, 50% for your family. I think it's like 10% for you, 90% for your family. (laughs) Yeah, I think that's that's way more accurate. The only thing I needed out of the graduation parties was the money. And when I was in high school, an excuse to get really drunk. Yeah, I do remember 
high school graduation being a lot of drunk high school kids that then needed rides home and things like that. Is this, was this a high school graduation party or just a party? Refresh my memory. When it, it might have been like the drunkest I've ever been in my life. And we were playing beer pong and I was so drunk and <laughs> somebody made the decision. Either we ran out of alcohol or somebody made the decision to stop feeding me alcohol. And so instead of alcohol, you put Arizona iced tea in the cups and told me it was wine. And I totally bought it. <laughs> and, and I was just like, this, this is the worst wine I've ever had. And but I kept playing, and then I threw up so much that night, and Kyle had to clean up after me. Was that a graduation party? I think, you know, if it was, hmm, maybe it was. I'm trying to think because your graduation party from maybe it was your high school graduation party. That would make more sense. Yeah, it wasn't college. I it mean, when I was in college, college I wasn't really drinking, so. Well, the only reason why I know it wasn't your college graduation party was because your college graduation party was my 21st birthday. Oh, that was your <laughs> trip to Brock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it must have been your high school one. Yeah. No, yeah, I was definitely young at that point. Those were so fun, those high school graduation parties. You would go to like 10 of them. Your summer was pretty much full of them. They were always just like all of your friends and their families and everyone just getting drunk together, eating some food, and then getting drunk and eating more food. And it was great. You did it all summer long. Yeah, it was kind of like a like a Lollapalooza of graduating. Yeah. <laughs> just a little festival. Yeah. Yeah, it was a, it was a good time. Um, and I feel like everyone had their different thing. Like, remember our graduation parties? We always had those rented blow-up fighting rings. Yeah, we had, we had, well, we had different ones, too. We had, one was, like, a actual, ri- like, ring, I think, and they had massive blow-up boxing gloves, and then one was, like, a pedestal with the, um... Oh, the big Shoot, jousting things or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I forgot what that TV show was called. Like the American... Oh, no. What was that TV show called? It'll come to me. Um, And then there was another one we had that was like similar. It was like a different version of that where it was jousting. But I think there was like a bunch of little pedestals that you could jump between or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I remember we had all those different variations, but those were so fun. Remember when the two grandmas got in with the fighting in the fighting one where they had the giant boxing mitts and <laughs> yeah, I think they hilarious. both fell down at one point and neither one of them could, could get, not up. get back up. <laughs> no, could not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were a blast. Yeah, we always had those and a keg. But it was an always, it was always a fight to, to to get like the size of the keg was always a battle because we wanted like a full keg yeah and then like the parents wanted to get like a pony keg yeah. or like a just <laughs> looked keg. weak we just wanted the full keg to have the full look of a keg you know yeah yeah it just make us feel cool I mean whether or not we needed they it. Looked- <laughs> No, yeah, we did, probably didn't need it. Uh, I mean, I was drinking Arizona iced tea at some point. But, I don't know. Keg stands look cooler on a full-size keg. That's so true. And, and, you know, it's really better to have that more sturdy base anyway, you know? Yeah, it is, actually. Yeah, the graduation parties were a blast. I remember one. I actually went to... Mm, was that a graduation party? I think... Nope, that was a birthday party. Never mind. I I went to a birthday party once and didn't have a gift. So me and a friend just stopped at like a gas station and bought like an ice cream sandwich and brought that as a gift. (laughs) Wow, that's so sad. At least it was like a treat kind of for their birthday. Yeah. 
I think we get a card too. So actually, one of their manners things I was just thinking about because they talked about how, like, if you receive a graduation announcement, does that mean you have to send something back? Are graduation announcements a thing? Yeah, you know how you, like, get all that, like, those cards and... Oh, yeah, I guess we just got one from Cousins. Yeah, so I was thinking, like, if you don't... You know, there's a party, you can't make it to the party, and then you get the graduation announcement. Like, now do I have to send a card of money? Uh, I think this depends on your relationship. I think if you're a friend, no. Family, yes. Mm, So I better find a card and send some money. (laughs) (laughs) So this was not a hypothetical. (laughs) No, this is a real life schmanners question. (laughs) Yeah, I think if you're a family, you can easily say, sorry, can't make it. But like, but does it also matter what your role in the family is? Like a grandma, for sure. Grandma and grandpa, definitely going to send you money whether they're there or not. Aunt and uncle, are they going to? Or is is a cousin going to? I feel like an aunt and uncle probably. Yeah, I think aunt and uncle is a probably yes. But a cousin, maybe depending on their age, you know? I feel like no for a cousin. Yeah, I feel like no, I, too. That kind of solves my how problem. Many cousins? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Like, if you have a lot of cousins, probably not. If you only have, like, two, you're going to know if nobody sent you something. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I th- I, age, is, age is a factor, for sure. But is it the age of both cousins or just the age of the cousin sending the card slash money slash gift well i think it's only the person that's sending it because the person graduating is either graduating high school or graduating college yeah so i guess what i meant was uh proximity in age oh yeah matter? i see mm, that's a good question i'm not sure like if you're close in age do you have to send something Maybe it's, like, how close do you feel to that person, you know? Yeah. Like, do you send a birthday card if you can't make it to celebrate birthdays? Sometimes. I don't know how everybody else does it, but I think it feels pretty standard that different family sex just send one card, including everyone. Yeah, like, you send the card, sign my name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think an aunt and uncle would send the card and money, but signed by the cousins as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. The other funny thing about all these like cards and announcements are the pictures. Like, I remember back to taking my senior pictures in high school, and I did them like in Chicago at all these different like scenic spots, and I remember that I forgot my straightener at home so I was so upset because I wanted to do two hairdos and I only had I forgot the straightener so then I was trying to use someone else's and it was just such a thing but like I just remember the pictures being just such a big event and then you just tuck them in these little cards people look at them and toss them in a pile (laughs) yeah nobody really cares everybody knows what you look like who took your senior pictures um, that lady that used to take our pictures when we were little. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think I only had mine done by Pat. I don't know if I got any other ones done. I feel like girls care more about this than boys. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't care that much. My senior pictures are still on Facebook, I think. <laughs> Maybe you should <laughs> remove those ten years later. <laughs> They're in- <laughs> included, um, black collar button-up shirt tucked into jeans with a studded belt with some skater shoes on and a guitar around my back (laughs) and some like real skater bang like hairdo some real emo bangs i really like my college graduation pictures because i really won by having one of those friends who had those, like, overly involved parents. So then they came to campus and did, like, a whole photo shoot 
for me and all my friends at like our favorite spots. The only bummer was the first spot that they did was like on the football field. They like somehow figured out how to get in there. But I missed the first location because I had to take a final exam. But other than that. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. But other than that, you know, those are those are some good pictures to have. I hate my college graduation pictures. They're so bad. The suit I was wearing, like, washes. I'm super pale, and the suit just washes out my face. And, like, I had a terrible haircut at the time. And it's just everything. Everything was wrong about it. I feel like you really liked that suit, though. Didn't it have, like, a vest with it that you really liked? Mm, I don't know what suit we're talking about anymore. Oh. I do have a suit now that I really like. It's not the same one, though, is it? I hope it not. Might, since might have been the, the same other one, one washes you out. Well, it's not so much. I think it was more the shirt underneath that washed me out. It was like a weird, like grayish green kind of color. I think, and it just didn't. Yeah, it that, didn't work. That doesn't sound cute. Yeah, it wasn't great. Mm-mm. That's another weird thing: is wearing, getting dressed up underneath the graduation gowns. Yeah, we did a lot of pictures with like, well, at least in college, with like the gowns unzipped. So we all had these like cute little dresses on and some jewelry and whatnot underneath, and then. You could see them. Yeah, so then it's just it's just becoming an accessory at that point. It's just like a cape. It's yeah. It's like wearing a cape. It's like to denote what the day is. Yeah. <laughs> but you could it could easily be done just with the cap, but you don't want to ruin your hair. You want to do it hairstyles. Yeah, that's true. And then, mm. so the cap thing, what did you guys have? Did you have like a tassel... Showing, like, did all the undergrad have the same tassel color, or was it different for each school? In college? Uh, yeah. I think, I want to say we all had the same tassel color, and people were differentiated by, like, sashes and ropes and stuff mm. around them. I was, so we had different tassel colors by... Eat, like the school you were graduating from and I was pretty upset that the business school had an orange tassel that seems weird that's not the color I would pick for business no and I didn't want that because obviously I wanted it to be red so it was like badger colors and everything and no I had to have the orange one I mean orange is close I was gonna say green I was gonna say the color of money mm. no those are probably like the I, I was going to say, like, the agriculture people. <laughs> 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 I don't remember. Yeah, that's weird. No, I don't think I've ever, in high school either, didn't have different colored tassels. In high school, we didn't? No, right? Weren't they just school colors? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think um, some high schools in our district had different colored gowns for girls and boys, which I think was weird. Yeah, there was, I couldn't remember if that was high school or college. That was definitely high school, though. P- yeah, people had different colored gowns, but was it for girls and boys, or was it just like, yeah, well, I it couldn't think it be was, random. No, I think it was girls and boys, which is so weird. And like, why why just some random gender segregation there? <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Uh, maybe they just wanted to mix in like both Colors, school colors. So that was the like, easiest way to split it. That's fair. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, unless your ratio is way off. Yeah. Like at Loyola, they never could have done that because it was 70% boys, 30% girls. Is that right? Was it the other way around? No, 70% girls, there. 30% boys. That's what it was. Way more girls than boys. So you could never split it that way. I guess if they just wanted to like throw in some other color, then they could. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. I guess. I love how, like, symbolic graduation is. So, you know, like, there's the tassel. Everyone wears, like, the cap and gown. Then you have, like, the sashes and the ropes. And then you move the tassel from one side to the other once you've graduated. Yeah, what's that part about? It's about, like, 
leaving um, like one stage of life and then moving to the next. Do you just make that up or you know that for sure? No, that's the thing. And they talked about it in the podcast. Duh. Oh, oh right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and then actually I thought it was funny because then Travis was like, so what if you move it to the other side and then it falls back? Do you have to start high school over again? <laughs> oh, right. That's what he said. <laughs> if it falls back, you have to start all over again. I was like, yeah, that would be a bummer. Yeah, it's about moving from one stage of life to the next. I mean, I guess that's neat. Otherwise, otherwise, what's the point of the whole ceremony if you don't do anything in it? Yeah, and I don't know about your college graduation, but you know how they like don't even give you the diploma? It's like mailed to you. So you literally yeah. go to the ceremony to get an empty book. <laughs> yeah, for no reason. Just It's all just a picture show. It's for people to take pictures. Yeah, exactly. It's it's Honestly, it's another thing that's like for your family. They're there. They want to be so proud. You're just there because they want you to be there. Yeah, pretty much. It, it is for them. The, the ceremony, too, as much as the party, is mostly for parents. They said that, right? They said, we got through this. This <laughs> We did yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So I listened to the the podcast a couple of days ago, and then I was trying to, like, I had the graduation march song stuck in my head, except it wasn't the <laughs> it wasn't the graduation march. This is what I was singing in my head over and over again. Da 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 I couldn't differentiate. No, I kept trying dun, to remember. Dun, 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 dun. You know? Is that right? They're so similar. They sound the same. Dun, 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 dun. It's called Pomp and Circumstance, which I didn't now know. Now I can't remember the Olympic theme. Dun, 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 nope, dun, you still got dun, it. <laughs> dun, dun. Yeah, I got it. But it's the same because the other one is... So it's da da, and then it's da da da. I mean, okay, they're different, but not really. And when Travis was singing it in this podcast, he sang like the wedding song. He sang the wedding song. You know the it's oh, like that's a right. the, song, Canon and yeah, yeah, yeah. D or C or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I thought he was singing the words to the graduation march too, wasn't he? Or no? No, he was singing the. I don't know what that song is, but it's like the da, 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 we remember all those times. You know, so, I, the, I don't know if any of those words were right. Something about we had together. You know, get it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He was singing that. He also brought up, I thought this this was unique to Abby's graduation at Purdue. They sang this song called this is the moment and i thought just they did it but then travis talked about it too apparently it's a thing in most colleges can you sing me what that song is i don't think i know what yeah. it is this is the moment that's the only part i remember it sounds like a church song yeah well the choir would sing it and they like harmonized it but like acapella and they'd be like this is the moment and then they'd be like this is the moment <laughs> And then, and then it'd be like, this is the moment. <laughs> You're really good and, at that. Maybe you should yeah. see what local colleges you can sing at. Yeah, I think I'm more of a tenor. The soprano was a little little high for me, a little out of my range. Yeah. Um, it, it didn't um, sound natural, I would say. No, it was definitely a stretch. But there's more to that song than just those words. I just can't remember them. I don't remember where I was going with that. Okay, well... Oh, I have a question. Did we, in high school, have a class, like, song, and, like, they talked about, they did, they had a song and, like, a flower or something. Did we have any of that? Because I don't remember any of that. Oh, you know, I feel like the class song sounds like something I remember, but I don't know what it was if we did have one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember either. And yep, I would have no idea. Yeah, me either. I didn't. Maybe we should check a yearbook or something. Yeah, I guess. Do we have a class anything? I feel like we did, but I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't know. 
We we had class slogans, right? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Maybe? Like I I think we were like oh nine so fine. Oh yeah. I mean, I think those were like things that the student council or like team made shirts. up. That was like not uh like school mandated. Didn't we have didn't we have I don't think it was our classes, but maybe yours. Didn't they have like class superheroes? Like one class was the Superman class. Oh yeah. One class was the Batman class. They and they had like I don't know, big cutouts made. I don't think our class did that. My class anyway. You know what we did do is graduating classes would give the school a gift. What is that about? give the school a gift oh yeah what was your gift our the class of 09 (laughs) gave uh i think they might have done more than this i obviously was not involved but they made these pretty nice looking i don't know wood signs that hang from the ceiling that like mark the hallways and stuff do you remember those probably not I'm trying. I'm trying to think back to this time, and I, I really just, I, I really don't. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> it was a decade for me, almost nine years. Yeah, that is a long time. I wonder what they would have to do at this reunion to get me to come. I don't know what would make it enticing. Hmm. Probably nothing. I don't think. What happens at a reunion besides reunionizing? Is there like a dance? Is it like a like a homecoming dance maybe and like some probably lukewarm catered food and some boxed wine and then you just kind of (laughs) mingle yeah that sounds like no fun yeah you know it's uh you know now that we've done like high school and college graduation stuff like unless you just keep going to school you don't you don't do graduations anymore. Those were it. We did them. That's it. I almost did another one, but got out of that. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's expensive to keep doing those. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. School is expensive. That's insane. The insane thing, actually. Loyola, when I went, was 50 grand a year, and it's up to at least 65 now. I don't even want to know what Madison has changed to because I'm still paying for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's insane. The cost of it. Okay, well, I mean, you have any, any thoughts on graduations or should we let these people go enjoy their Sundays? Yeah, I guess they just should guess. More importantly, we should let me go to sleep. Yeah, I think. that sounds about right. We seem to be kind of dying out towards the end here. Yeah, my energy level is plummeting pretty quick. Need a higher caffeinated drink than your frappuccino next time. <laughs> or just more more sleep. Yeah, not sure if this has any caffeine in it whatsoever, but it was delicious and it has sugar, so that'll give me a spike at least a little bit. Yeah, okay, so we can let Nick go to sleep, so (laughs) thanks for listening, keep listening to us, email us if you have any thoughts at thepodcafe.contact at gmail.com, you can tweet at us, we love the Twitter, Um, you can tweet at us at the underscore podcafe. And you can listen to us on Spotify or on our um, podcast posting site, which is thepodcafe.libsyn.com. Anything else? Or on Google Play. And by next weekend, iTunes. Um, yes, we will be on iTunes Woo-hoo! as well. And then that covers all the bases, I think. Yeah. Look at us making moves. Making moves. All right. Well, enjoy your sleep, and everyone else, enjoy your Sunday. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for listening. Bye.